Hello and welcome everyone. This is going to be an ORPH trade breakdown. So trade context here is the stock is in money time. As you can see from the volume, it's trading about a million a minute. Um, so we have 7 ask, 750 ask, 8 ask, and 850 ask, and we're approaching 9 right now with some nice short-term buying under that's coming in. Some 0.80 there that shows that we have the ability to break 9. We're expecting some ask at 9. So keeping an eye for the short-term buying under and then keeping an eye for the ask that's going to come at 9. Some, some nice buying under shows us we have the ability to break 9. Our volume is consistently in the millions. Some great ask at 9 there above print personality. It's probably twice as big as we've seen from previous levels. And doesn't look like we're finished printing at 9. Still an order sitting at 899 and at nine. So just keeping an eye on. The, the buying under has definitely showed that we have the ability to break now. It's just keeping an eye on how much buying is at nine and above. And we know nine, look at that buying right there, short-term buying under and then that ask at nine. So twice now at nine. So we have more ask prints at nine than we have at previous levels which that indicates is our number one short trade. And the more ask at a higher level, from market makers perspective, they're acquiring more higher up than they were lower. That shows that they need to pull back for them to build on that position, right? So, and this personality has really shown minimal pullbacks for the market makers to build. The only real pullback we got was from eight to 850. And after it triggered from 750 above, it really has not given us a significant pullback from that amount of ass that they've showed at each level. So 8, 850, and 9. So the trade that we're looking for is our number one short trade right now. And our price target is going to be 8. And we're going to be looking for a trigger down. We're just looking for the proper setup at this point. So we're looking for this stock to come back to a reality. We know when a stock is an exception and when it runs like this without pulling back the amount that they need to, it usually comes back to a reality in terms of an all at once short trade. So when a stock gets extended like this and its personality is not showing that it builds much, it will come back to a reality and it will be our number one short trade. And the further it gets away, the larger the short is gonna be. So the larger the, the all at once pullback is gonna be. So again, largest ask at nine that we've seen on this continue, continued push up. Now we're looking for the off level selling above nine to, sh to indicate that someone's gonna make money back down to eight or someone's taking off a large portion of their position, right? So now we're just looking for confirmation of our number one short trade. We're gonna be risking about 20 cents to make a dollar. So now we're just looking for a proper trigger. Price target eight. 20 cents this is going to be our risk. We have our game plan based upon the market maker and what he's shown us the level and this being an exception and we're looking for the reality check short trade. Some great selling there at 0 0.15, 0 0.10. So nine bids. So if you took that trigger and you were anticipating that trigger, you have to play defense knowing those nine bids were above print personality and we can get a quick pull up from those. And the reaction under hasn't really been that much sell. So if I took that trigger, I'm playing a little defense here, um, just knowing that that could pull up quickly before we get continuation back to the downside. But that's exactly what our trigger needs to look like. Just knowing the substance behind the bar was nine bids and then under nine, we didn't really get that much selling to show, show that it was going to be quick continuation to the downside. So at, And we're pulling up now. Now we're keeping in mind ideally we don't want to see great buying above we want to see rather we want to see more selling on this quick little push up because we know this is a quick pull up from those nine bids see, so those they they match right those nine bids match our game plan for a number one short trade overall you think that nine level would be mixed, but it's really not. The market maker initially told us they printed significantly larger than any other level at nine, which shows us that they need to pull back. And 
uh, logical pullback would be a dollar for those prints, just knowing how overextended it is from multiple levels. 0.17 ass there. It, that is a little concerning there. If we get more ass prints, you'd be most likely shaken here. If we get more ass prints, because that shows our, our pullbacks and our pull ups going to be larger. But it doesn't look like it's the case. We're looking for more off level selling here under nine. Sp specifically, we want less bids at nine and we want greater selling, short term selling under nine to show that we can really continue our way to eight. But overall, we're looking for a dollar trade here, risking 20 cents. We're kind of in a consolidation here. We know we got that nice, tr that initial trigger bar, but the substance gave us nine bids above print personality, so it gave us a quick pull up. And now we're looking for the real continuation of the trigger at the current moment. We know volume is kind of, it's not dipping necessarily because it's still great, but it's not in terms, it's not waxing or it's not higher and higher volume bars, which we don't want for a short. But again, guys, this was an exception trade, and we know exceptions always come back to reality. When stocks get overextended, they always will come back to a reality, and we know some nice selling there. And we know when a stock doesn't get significant pull-ups, or significant pullbacks, I'm sorry, um, when it's pushing like that, it's usually going to happen all at once. To a high percentage, it will happen all at once. So now we're just looking for the short trade there's some nice off level selling under like we spoke about that is what we needed to see that's perfect that shows us that we have the ability to get to 850 and then we're going to evaluate the selling all the way below on our way to eight for our number one short trade setup so knowing that we never got a pullback from eight 850 and nine we're looking for a pullback and our price target is eight number one short trade and now we're in the money beautiful continuation more great selling there so continued selling it's lovely that's exactly what we need to see and again we have to be mindful again coming to 850 here if we get large bids here that it'll pull up a brief amount before we get continuation back down so let's keep an, keep an eye here if we get large selling at this level it'll give us a quick pull up and then continuation or if we just get off level great off level selling around this level that's perfect for continuation down we shouldn't really get that large of a pull up overall we're short right now still have more room to the downside Not really concerned with that bond that's coming in, really. So we're just in this trade right now. We're just managing our trade. We took, if you jump the gun on the trigger a little bit with those nine bids, which I did personally, it's okay. You understood that that was going to pull up. You still understood the whole game plan in terms of the market maker and how much they needed to build. Um, didn't break our risk to reward ratio. And then we got the proper trigger down to the downside. Now we're just picking our spots. Some nice selling above 850 there. Some large selling at 850. So unfortunately have to be mindful let's see what the reaction is some decent sell under just have to be mindful that that really could pull up again and we could pull up to say 875 even possibly nine but overall our price target is eight just being mindful that per rules 850 bids should pull up just have to be mindful doesn't look like that but it's essentially our, our trade there right price target is eight we're just about it about there I'm just going to recap this real quick. If you're in this short, you're just managing it at this point. You're playing defense because you know 850 should give us a pull-up, but it really should just run to 8 to get us to our price target. But we need that off-level, of course, right? But just to break this down and review it before this video ends, um, the stock was an exception. The stock was in money time, and we understood that because of the sheer amount of volume, the greatest volume is shown all day, 
they broke it out. Um, where we, our personality wasn't showing that we were getting um, any significant pullbacks for them to build. And off-level buying was great within those pullbacks, showing that we were going to get continuation to the upside. And then we got we continued to get as prints on the way up, so eight eight fifty nine without a proper pullback, right? So we didn't really get that fifty cent pullback from eight. We really didn't get that fifty cent pullback from eight fifty. And then we were coming into nine, so two levels, and then we got those huge ask at nine that were above print personality, that were three times above print personality, greater than any previous level at the highs. The market maker told us that their intentions were to build. So we had three levels without a proper pullback. Our number one short trade from those ask at nine. And then we identified the off-level selling that was needed in order to, for us to get to our price target of eight. Our, the bids at 850 tell us that we have the ability to get to eight, but we know that per rules that should pull up very quickly before we get a continuation back down. So overall, this happens very often where we get stocks that get overextended without proper pullbacks because it's their money time. And then we just need to identify our number one short trade within them. So that's about it, guys. Um, I'll attach the overall trade that happened within this in terms of how far it pulled back. But it's as simple as that in terms of trading an exception and trading a number one short trade within it. I hope you all have a wonderful night. And thank you for listening.